Michael Cooper, how you doing? Sean, doing extremely well, man. Uh, you know, going through some unfortunate times now, but we just have to be able to deal with it and adapt, and, and I'm doing good. Hopefully you're doing the same. Yes, Coop, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. Now, in this video, I'm talking about your rivalry with Larry Bird and, and how intense it was. It was a battle. It was war. Um, was it something personal for you? It wasn't just a, a, a personal thing. It became physical because I had an opportunity to do something about it. So when I jumped into that rivalry, Larry was a type of player, and I've guarded many great offensive scorers, uh, just to name a few, Michael Jordan when he was young, uh, Dr. J., uh, George Gervin, a kid named Andrew Tony. Oh, those yes. players, when they just throw the basketball, they you can kind of take a rest on those guys. Larry was different than that. Larry could get rid of the basketball, but he was going to go get a, go get an offensive rebound. He was going to set a back pick for his teammate. He was going to he was going to do something, assist. He didn't always have to score, so you always had to pay attention to him. And you know, he has said that I'm the toughest player he's had to ever go that guarded him and. I have to say Larry is the best because of those things I just mentioned is that you always had to pay attention to him uh, on the court. And one of the best things, Sean, that I saw of Larry Bird that really gave me the ultimate respect is that we were playing them in the 84, 85 series and we were just got into Boston and there was a bus going by. And on the bus, they had this huge long picture of Larry diving out of bounds and the ball was just right at his fingertips. And it and, and the quote was, I hate it when players watch the ball go out of bounds. And that there tells you who that guy was, man. This guy played the game, the entire game, to the, to the outer limits, the sideline, the baseline. And that's what I respected the most about him. But he, he was a tough player to deal with because he was bigger than me too. It's nice to see that we both like the same thing about Larry. Um, now, when I studied your footage and, and studied how you guarded Larry, the one thing that I always uh, thought was one big difference to how other people guarded Larry, you basically in many games tried to avoid him even touching the ball. Like you didn't, you didn't, you didn't sit at the three-point line and wait for him to get the ball, and then you start guarding. You you played the passing lanes and try to limit his touches. Um, how exhausting was that? I mean. Even though, <laughs> even though offense was not your your primary um, job, but you, I mean, you were no scrub on offense. You also shot three pointers and so on. How exhausting is that? Well, you know what, our, our uh, a lot, it, very exhausting. First of all, very exhausting. But we prepared, and Pat Riley always. We had some tough training camps, and we were always prepared to go the extra distance. But my mentality, and being taught that in college from my uh, coach, was that an all, great offensive player can only score if he has the basketball. 